Hey everyone, welcome to this Inventor HSM Quick Tip. Circular and Component Patterns. For this example, we're going to use a part that's got a 2D pocket already in it. Let's right click on that, Add to Pattern. From the Pattern Type, let's select Circular Pattern. For the axis, we're going to use the outside body of the part. Notice our equal spacing is turned on. We'll take that off for a second and change our angle to 60. Now we'll adjust our instances to 3, and then finally 6, and see how it drives our pocket around the part. If we change the equal spacing, you can see how it's 60 degrees included, and all 6 pockets are within that 60 degrees. So we'll set it back to 360 degrees, equal spacing, and 6. Let's select OK, and finalize this pattern. We'll right click, simulate, and take a look at our results. You can see each of the pockets is now represented within our part. For the sake of time, I'll speed this up and click through it. Now let's take this pattern and we're going to right click, add to new pattern, and do a component pattern from one part to the next. This will take all of our toolpaths and batch them to, from one part to the next. As a special consideration when making patterns, you should always pay attention to the operation order. As we select the Operation Order drop-down, you can see we can preserve the order, order by operation, or order by tool. By choosing Preserve Order, your program will machine all operations of that instance before moving to the next instance in the pattern and machining it. Order by operation machines all occurrences of each operation in the pattern before changing to the next operation. Order by tool machines all operations in the pattern with that current tool before changing tools, thus reducing the number of tool changes in your program. Remember, each of these choices could greatly affect your code as it's put out to the machine. We'll select the source as our initial part, and notice instantly our toolpath was taken from one part to the next. Once you go to the simulation, you can see how both of these parts can be machined together now. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to comment and look for more tips to come.